What's up, everybody? Gridbot Guru here, and today what we're going to do is we are working with Pinex, and I am going to show you the Smart Trade Bot. Okay. And so what I want you guys to do is if this is something that you have been interested in, I want you guys to pay attention, look at it, watch this video. If you like it and if I explain it well, please subscribe, please click the like button, uh, leave a comment below if you are, if it, if it benefits you at all. If it doesn't benefit you, then, you know, I guess you can hit the dislike. That is, a, that is all right as well. But you got to let me know why you don't like it. So if you don't like it, let me know why you don't end up liking it. So first thing that we're going to do is, and what I recommend doing is, I remember or recommend getting a an idea of what a coin is doing. So I've picked ADA. Um, from my just two cents, again, this is me and my personal thoughts, my personal ideas. I am going to chart this up, so I'm going to throw some horizontal lines down. Looks like around in here, so I'm going to say around that area. It also looks like we are around this area, and if I had to make another one, I would say around the 140 area. If I can make that, can I make that? I thought I clicked it. Well, it's not looking like it's wanting to let me. There we go. Um, oh, here we go. That's what it was. Now I need to click it again. I usually use Trading View on these, um, but I want to make sure you guys know what this looks like first. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm going. I know that I, uh, I hit pause on accident. Um, so I'm switching the lines up a little bit, making them a little bit darker, easier to see. And what I see is for ADA, we are kind of at a do or die situation, I feel like, with the 120 mark. Um, so again, I'm just charting this up real quick. This is an example. This is not necessarily a trade that I am going to end up taking. Um, this is more an example so that you know um, how to effectively use the uh, smart trade on Pinex's website or the app. Um, so what you end up having is you end up having right now, it looks to me like I can sit here and I can say, okay, it looks to me like ADA is getting ready. It's, it's looking like it's ready to bounce from the 120. It may go back down. Again, I'm on the daily. Um, that's what I usually trade on. Sometimes I'll go down to four. Sometimes I'll go down to two. But usually what I do is I trade on the, on the daily. And right now, it looks like it is at a good support area, okay? Now, that's wonderful. That, that lets us know. But one of the problems that I saw was the fact that it comes down to this 120 area, it comes back up to this 140, 144 area, and then comes back down. It gets rejected around that area, comes back down. No big deal, but if it breaks down through this, we're probably going to go down to about a dollar, okay? Which is a long way from the, what was it, $3, $3 for um, the all-time high for ADA. Um, yeah, about three, maybe three, 308, somewhere around there. Um, so here's where we are at. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're wanting to say you're sitting there and you're thinking to yourself, you know, I would like to trade this. looks like it's a good setup, but I don't know if I really want to run a grid bot on it. Okay. Smart trade was going to be a perfect way for you to kind of set a bot up and forget it. Okay. So for a smart trade, there's a couple things I'm going to end up uh, talking about. First thing is what it is. Second thing is how it works. I'm going to go through the setup on it and then what happens when it finishes. Okay. So the first thing is what it is. A smart trade is very much so 
a an in and out type of trade that has a couple of different things you can kind of tweak on it and I'm going to get to those whenever we go through um, how it works and the setup but the long story short if you are familiar with stocks or if you are familiar with any trades of like one triggers another or OTAs or you are familiar with anything that has multiple steps that trigger a trade this is going to be very similar so a smart trade um, it's going to have one thing that buys and then it's going to turn around and once it buys it's going to turn around and autom automatically set it up for a sell based on your parameters and what you have put in okay so with that being said let's go and let's see how it works and what i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to switch to the area of where i can actually end up starting one up so i got a smart trade here i'm going to put that in let me make sure that i can get some more um, there we go all right so with a smart trade you have a couple different things first thing that you will need to figure out is whether you want to use a limit buy or a market buy okay a limit buy is going to be something you can end up putting your own price in so a limit buy is going to be something where you're like i only want to buy ada if it touches one dollar and twenty cents that means that if ada touches one dollar and twenty cents it's going to start that buy if it does not touch one dollar and twenty cents say it touches one dollar and 20.1 cents okay so if i put this in 1.20 that's the price it has to touch before it will start it will not start at 1.201 unless i put that in okay that's going to be a limit buy now you could do a market and a market's just going to be whatever happens so whatever the price is currently that's what you're going to pay now there is a danger with a market price because what could end up happening is the movement of the coin can happen very quickly so it could really tank or it could really shoot up and you see it on the chart and it says like for example right now it says one two eight four five but really by the time if i do market somebody could put it in and i could end up getting it for 130 132 135 now it's kind of drastic but i like to use limit and if you're like you know what i like to use limit but that's too much you can always come over here and you can click current and that's going to talk about or and that's going to set it up for the current price that it's at right now okay so that is going to be what ends up happening so you're going to end up buying it and then what you're going to end up doing is you're going to set it up for a take profit or a stop loss or a trailing take profit one of those three okay and so what we're going to do now is we're going to talk a little bit about the whole entire setup so what i could end up doing is i could come in and i could end up saying okay I want to, I'm going to erase this so you guys can see me do it from start to finish, okay? So you're sitting here and you're like, you know what? I like where ADA is. I think it's going to end up going up. Pretty sure it's going to bounce off that 120 and keep going. I'm going to put my buy price at 120 and I'm going to put it at like 121, right? That means that when it hits, because I have limit selected here, when it hits 121, it's going to execute that buy. Down here, this is going to be your buy quantity. So I can put, if I put 100 ADA in, that means it's going to cost me at $121, okay, or USDT, if you will. And I still have um, my available balance here. So I would still have some left over. Now, here is where the fun happens okay and this is the good thing about a smart trade when you scroll down you have two different things okay you have a take profit so what i can do is i can say okay 
I want to do a take profit, but I only want to sell if I gain 10% on it. That means that if I buy at 121, you saw me hit the 10%. If I buy at 121, it's going to sell at 133, 133.1, and that will be a 10% profit. Okay? I can do 15% if I want. I can do 20% if I want. It doesn't matter what I want to do. I could set it for $3. Okay? I could do a sell price at $3. The, this just makes it fairly quick for you to click on a on a percentage and kind of have an idea of where it's at. All right. You also have a stop loss down here. The stop loss down here is going to act exactly like any other stop loss. So if you're sitting there and you're like, you know what, I like it at 120, I'm going to buy it at 121. But if it goes to 118, I don't want it anymore and I want to sell it all. There you go. That's your stop loss. Okay. Do you have to put one in? Absolutely not. You don't have to. Okay, you could always put a zero in, and what you will see is it says set zero if you want to disable it. All right, so right there, set zero if you want to disable it. So if you don't want a stop loss and you're just like, you know what, I'm going to hold the token, doesn't matter, then you're going to put a zero in there. Okay, now let's talk about this little, little gem right here trailing take profit. Okay. I have not done a trailing buy or trailing sell video in a while. But what you guys can do is click that, okay? Now, here is where the fun begins, okay? What you can end up doing is this is going to end up trailing exactly like some of the others. I, I have done some videos, Martingale trailing bot or the DCA trailing bot, that has worked out. And what you guys end up having is I can say, okay, I want to do a take or a trigger sell price at 133. That means at 133.1, I'm getting 10%. And what I can do is I can do a trailing sell percentage and I could say, we'll say 5%. Okay. What that means is that means that no matter what, if this thing, skyrockets up to say it skyrockets up to 10 percent and then it drops another five percent it means it's going to lock in five percent profits but the thing is is if it goes up to 15 percent and then it drops another five percent because that percentage is trailing that's going to trail whatever your sale price is so if it goes to 15 percent and then drops another five percent it's going to sell it but you're gaining 10 percent Again, it could go all the way up to 20% and it drops back down. You're going to get 15%. It doesn't matter what you want to do. You could put $3 in or 300. You could put $3 in right there. That percentage is going to be very large, okay? But still, if it drops 5%, it will sell as long as this trigger price has been met. So if you want to make sure that you are going to stay in the profit, with a 5% trailing profit, I would do at least a 7%, um, at least a 7% tr uh, trigger sell price. And what you can do, what you can end up doing with that is you could do 1.21 and you can multiply that by 1.07. So if I were to end up multiplying that out, 1.21 1 times 1.07, I would get 129.47. So I could do 1.2947. That's going to be a 7% increase. That means that if it drops 5%, I'm still going to net 2% profit. Okay. All right. I hope that helps everybody with the with this part of the smart trade. Now, the downside to this is it does not continue. So once this trade has been made, it has been executed, it has been the take profit has been traded or executed, everything is done, it will not start again. Okay, this is very much so one single cycle, a buy, a sell, and you're done. Okay, 
So once you have converted all of your coins back over to USDT, you are done. It will close this bot and you will not end up being able to open it back up. You can re you could set one up again, reset one up again, but it is not going to continue moving. Okay. Um, that's one of the, the benefits of Martingale that I really truly enjoy is that it will continue moving even after one of the rounds has been finished. Okay. All right, everybody. I hope this helps you out. Um, I also know that this time right now, everybody's probably kind of freaking out. Um, many of you probably are. Some of you are saying, ooh, it's time to buy. Um, if you guys checked my video out a couple weeks ago, I said that I thought 41 to 38 on Bitcoin is going to be where we end up landing for a little bit. And then hopefully that's a good area of support and we can end up continuing the, the movement upward. But remember, don't invest in with money that you can't afford to lose. So as I always say, if you're trying to pay bills and whatever, whatever you may need to pay, make sure you have those covered before starting to invest in crypto. Okay. All right, everybody, as always, I hope you guys have a great week trading. I hope you guys scoop up some cheap coins and I hope you guys all stay green. I'll see you next time.